Hey, it's Nina here. It's been such a long time since I've shared my story of how I learned piano here on this channel. I grew up wanting to play the piano. Um, I just remember sitting on the couch in my living room and we had like couches set up and we had a piano in our house. My dad was like a very musical person. He had a ton of guitars and um, he wanted us to play piano, but at that time they could only afford to um, sign my older sister up for piano lessons. So I remember sitting on that couch in the living room watching my sister play piano and just thinking, oh, I want to play piano too. And I really felt that. Like I really, you know, wanted to play piano. But not only that, I wanted to sing songs. I wanted to, um, to just ultimately please God. Like as a child, I just remember that feeling. Like I wanted to really just please God with my playing and with my singing. It was just such a really, like to the core. It was just a desire in my very core. And um, through that process, like my sister, my parents told my sister, like make sure that you teach your little sister everything that you're learning. And of course, she didn't teach me everything they were learning, but she did manage to teach me like the C chord and then I think the D minor chord. Um, and I, I just remember learning a few chords and that was already revolutionary. Um, we had these like notebooks at home. They were like um, sheet music books with kids songs. So I remember I was actually able to play one of them because they had the C chord, the D minor chord, and I was so excited to like be able to play and sing. Um, and that was just the beginning of my journey. Now, fast forward like a couple of, a couple of years later, as I was learning my chords, I remember I thought, like I didn't know about minor and major chords. I just thought that, like I only played the chords that have the white keys only. I was actually super afraid of the black keys. Like they just seemed very foreign to me. So the key of C was my favorite, it sounded like KFC. <laughs> The key of C was my favorite key to play in because all the keys were white. And so I remember when I came across a song that had like a G minor chord and I was like, I just didn't know what that was. I just kept playing the G or, you know, a F minor chord or F sharp chord. I, I really didn't know what it was. So there were some songs that I would play. I would play all the chords and then when it was like a minor chord that had a black key, it just didn't sound good. I was like, what is happening? I'm playing the G chord and I didn't know the difference between minors and uh, majors. So that was one really difficult time for me. Um, fast forward later down the road, I was actually able to get a chord chart. Um, it's funny because that's the very thing that I'm giving away for free all the time. Like I have hundreds of people downloading this chord chart because that very chord chart, not the same exact one, it was a slightly different one, but the chord chart was really revolutionary for me because every time I would see a song that had a G sharp, I would be like, wait, what's a G sharp? And I would look at the chord chart and I was, that's how I really learned to play any song. So whether it was in the key of F sharp or in the key of C sharp, I was able to be like, wait, how does this chord look like? I looked at the chord chart. I learned how to play that chord and I'd play it. And so the chord chart was absolutely revolutionary. This is why, like, it's the number one thing that I, I just give away. You can, you know, find the link in the description and get the, you know, the free chord chart that you can download and print. Um, but anyway, so I started using the chord chart and I was able to play any song. And that's when we started a live youth band at our church. That in itself was revolutionary because up until that point, the culture of our church, we only had um, backing tracks during worship. So this like starting a new worship group and starting a live band was a really big, uh, big deal. And so when you start a small band, um, it's hard because you don't have this like whole set of, of bass players and you know, we just have guitar and piano and drums and so it's very, very basic. Um, and I remember this one comment that someone told me and it was like, 
Nina, you just kind of play the same thing over and over again. And I remember I was like, what do you mean? And they were like, yeah, like you just play the same, same thing. Like, you know, <laughs> for every song, like it sounds the same. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so rude. But inside I was just like, is that true? Like, I knew that I was playing different chords, each song had a different key, like I was playing the best that I could following the chord chart in every song. And when it came down to it, I came home and I was like, I'm gonna play songs, and I was playing the songs and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's true. I am playing the same thing over and over again. I'm just switching out the chords, but my rhythm is always the same. It's like dun, 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 switch the chord. Dun, 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 switch, dun, dun, dun. And so it was always like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And that with the strumming of guitar, dun, you know, was so repetitive. So even though the songs were changing and the keys of the song were changing, the style of what I was playing was just the same. And that really, it was, it, it got to me like, it was true that that person made that comment and even though it was slightly offensive and I was like so discouraged but just for a little bit because I figured out that they were right and it's true like my playing was just super repetitive and um, that's when I started just it was just a, a really I'm not gonna say rock bottom because it wasn't like a rock bottom but it was a it was a dark place it was hard because i didn't really know who to turn to at that point because i'm like how are you supposed to play something different like what was i supposed to add into those chords what was i supposed to add into the song to make it sound good and so i was really in in a in a really hard tough spot okay and i had a friend who um who played piano and he was like my brother's friend who came over and he was playing piano and I remember I was like wait how did you do that can you show me that again and and I started looking towards people as big resources like I would ask anyone who played piano I'd be like oh oh can you show me exactly what you did there like how did you how did you do that or like the arpeggios when I heard that like da -da 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 -da, you know the arpeggios I'd be like wow you can break up a chord and play each note individually to make it sound more beautiful what and so that's when I, that journey started where I started looking at people as resources but not only that I didn't stop there I started looking on YouTube and I was really interested in how people made songs sound good like and I remember one of the songs that I searched up was um, Heart of Worship, like when the music fades. I was like, how did they play this song? And I remember there was a video, it wasn't the tutorial, but it was just a video of someone playing it. And I remember just copying it exactly the way that they played it because I was like, this sounds absolutely so beautiful. Like, and it wasn't like annoying, it wasn't boring. It was like this really unique way of playing. And so, I started doing that for more and more songs and just started developing these little skills that I could put into any song to make it sound good. And so that was the moment that was like absolutely revolutionary for in my journey where I like learned the arpeggios. I learned how to add those notes, the melody. And so um, throughout that journey, I just learned like you always just have to keep learning always keep trying but I will say and I do have like a separate video on this that the most crucial part of my growth was really getting alone with the Lord and just pressing on the notes and just feeling them out I don't know how else to explain it like just allowing the Holy Spirit to kind of guide my playing so I would take a chord progression you know C G F G okay let's just say I would just play it and sometimes I was still and playing it really still and other times I would just play it loudly and just allow the Holy Spirit to guide me and coach me through playing so that was like my biggest thing and um, from that I just learned you know if you don't have people directly around you to help you you have a lot of resources online like thank 
you lord for the online world i know there's a lot of cons to it but there's so much pros um that's kind of what i learned like seek out look for resources but the biggest thing is spending that time with the lord and really just growing in that secret place as a worshiper but also as a musician and yeah that's my story please let me know where are you at in your journey how are you playing where are you learning from and um and what is your piano goal? I'll see you in my next video. Bye.